Hello, my awesome and amazing Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and my Piscean subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. course piece of paper here rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to power of number eight we can see the strength card some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August maybe having the courage and the faith or confidence Pisces to speak your truth or you're waiting for somebody to have the courage or strength to speak up or say something to you uh, also picking up on the Eight of Pentacles, putting your nose to the grindstone, or you could be feeling that somebody needs to earn your trust, Pisces, before you allow them to come into your heart chakra. Power of number 10, preferably I would like to see the Wheel of Fortune, a fated turn of events in a positive direction, being heavily rewarded by the universe and or possibly the Ten of Cups and or the Ten of Pentacles. Power of number seven, we could see the Chariot energy show up. Some of you Pisces could be living at a distance from your friends, your family members, and or maybe from the one that you currently love right now. So adding up the numbers brings me to the power of number 25. So... Some of you Pisces uh, could have been born on um, February 20th, February 21st, February 25th, February 27th or 28th, picking up on March 1st, March 2nd, March 5th, March 7th, March 10th, excuse me, March 8th, March 12th, 15th. 17th, 18th, March 20th, March 21st. Some of you Pisces could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, 1975, and or possibly 1978. Could have also been born in 1980, 1981, 1982, 1985, 1987, or possibly, um, I think I got it all. Those are the numbers. Yep, 1987 for some of you. Okay. Going to the number 25. And there goes my dog. Hey, baby girl. Well, oh, hang on a second, you guys. Come here. Hey, come here. Look what I got. Oh, mommy's going to give you a treat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, your favorite. Oh, yep, you're licking your chest. That's right, gotta give her a little bit of peanut butter. I'm such a sucker because I said I wouldn't do it and I'm doing it, ugh. Otherwise, she's just gonna keep moaning, so, or barking. Power number 25, my beautiful Pisces. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, Ooh. and 25. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty good clean shuffle right there, Pisces. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers, what is the overall general collective message? What does Pisces need to know at this time frame, please? Show me what's up. Ooh, the chariot. Ooh, baby. 
Vroom, vroom, vroom. Forward a movement. Forward movement. Power of number seven came up on the third roll of the dice. I dig it. I love the Chariot card, you guys. Um, Chariot is by far my favorite major arcana. I hate stagnant energy, so I like forward movement. <laughs> Moving forward into victory and success. And yes, some of you Pisces could be at a distance um, from the one that you love or could be <clears throat> at a distance from friends or family members. Maybe you live out of state, etc. But there is for, wherever there's been, again, stale or stagnant energy, there's going to be something here about, you know, picking up the pace or you could be waiting for somebody to come and see you from a great distance or you're going to be uh, making travel plans in the near future. And if you've been questioning whether or not to move forward with a particular project, this is basically the green light, Pisces. Ooh, even more forward movement. Eight of Wands. Somebody's got a lot of passion and or desire towards you, Pisces. Or you've been feeling the burn of passion and desire, maybe even feeling a little bit of lustful energy going on. But this could be about, you know, instant communication, communication, again, coming in from out of the distance or from out of the blue. Um, it could be an unexpected text message that says something of value or something that could be of importance. This can also be an email that you're possibly waiting on. Um, this is like full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. There's so far. Are you okay, Toto? My God. So, <clears throat> so forward movement. Um, the good news is I'm not getting blockages, which is great. I am actually going to go into the Romance Angels deck. Mm-hmm. Oof. Pisces, you got some massive major chemistry with someone or they feel that they have a lot of chemistry with you. There's a strong magnetic pull or a strong magnetic attraction here. I'd say so. With the Chariot and the Eight of Wands, absolutely. I feel like there's just no delay. Let's see what's going on. Control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Have you been having control issues, Pisces, about when you want to see somebody or when they can see you or is somebody you feel having control issues when they can meet up with you, etc. Okay, so something here about going with the flow, but spirit wants to remind you, Pisces, that you do deserve love, that you are a lovable person, even if you have been horribly let down before in the past. If people, you know, if you've been married or been separated, if you went through a divorce, um, if you've had numerous, you know, potential suitors that have fallen short of your expectations or, you know, maybe some of your hopes and dreams. Um, there's somebody here that is either in your awareness right now or you do know them that basically what I'm hearing from spirit is that they're, they're top class, they're top notch, top drawer, you know, there, there's like this person that you could be thinking about, like nobody, I'm hearing Sinead O'Connor in my head, um, nothing compares to you. So <clears throat> let me take a look at something. I'm going to go into the hidden truth oracle. I'm going to see what this person wants to say to you, Pisces. I was going to say Scorpio for a minute. Maybe uh, you Pisces are dealing with a Scorpio right now. I want to feel that way again. So somebody's being highly reminiscent maybe of the past or the way that this person makes you feel. It's like a dopamine hit. You know, you feel really good. Um, you could be that type of person, Pisces, that doesn't allow just anybody into your life. I think you could be, you know, very highly selective. Um, I think you're very picky as to who your partner's going to be or what kind of partner you want. They could be, they could be picky themselves. 
we will be together again. Somebody is feeling here that the two of you are going to come back together again or that the two of you will meet up or if you guys haven't met up before or haven't seen each other in a very long time that there is some kind of coming together and or some form of travel, but somebody wants to share their good news with you, Pisces. Maybe it's just to let them know, let you know how they're doing or that they could be, you know, um, driving forward to, towards success and maybe they want to, you know, share this with you. Show me trusted ancestors. What phase of the moon is trying to support this movement or somebody coming in from a great distance? What is this? Ooh, believe in the impossible, a blue moon. Well, in some scenarios, well, now I'm hearing Mel Torme in my head. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart. Without a love of my own. Blue moon. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, um, the blue moon actually, what does a blue moon mean? Well, a blue moon means two full moons in one calendar month. And we will have it happen, I believe, in August of 2023, if I'm not mistaken. So for some in the on the long grand scheme of things, some of you guys could be waiting till the month of August. However, there's something very magical about the statement or the energy of the blue moon because with the eight of wands, one of the statement energies in the eight of wands is something coming in out of the blue. It's spontaneous. It's unexpected. It's like serendipity. Somebody could be showing up at somebody's house. You know, I'm seeing somebody possibly in their bathrobe. Okay. Um, yeah. Unexpected uh, ringing of the doorbell. You never know. So, but um, <laughs> either they're going to take you by surprise, Pisces, or you're going to take somebody by surprise and Take a leap of faith because it's like I'm seeing the fool card in my mind's eye right now. So let me take a look at this overall energy of the of um, the chariot and the eight of wands. High honor. Well, you know what? There's no coincidence. What did we shuffle the deck to? We had an 8, 10, 7, brought us to the number 25. Here's card number 25. High honor card. Somebody holds you in high regard, Pisces, or you hold somebody in high regard because you feel like maybe they have their act together, okay? Or when I think of high honor, I think of the divine consciousness. So something in your divine awareness or consciousness could be pushing you out of your comfort zone to get jump in your car and go see somebody or provided it's not a heterosexual relationship, okay? Um, you know, the man should go after the woman. But, or spirit is pushing somebody out of their comfort zone, Pisces, in order to come and see you. coffin energy. Okay. There's some form of an ending or there will be communication about this could be an ending to a third party situation. It could be an ending to a marriage. It could be an ending to some something, you know, um, you know, and sometimes, um, you know, tragedy, um, you know, can even bring two people together, you know, when there's like some form of sadness, who knows, maybe the two of you met at a funeral, you never know. But the bottom line is this is very Scorpionic energy with this coffin card. And so it is about a brand new phase or a new beginning. Okay. But in order for forward movement, yeah, something needs to come to an end in order for the, you know, it's basically for the the slate to be wiped clean, okay? So that nobody 
you know, feels attached or having to wait around and, you know, and I do pick up that somebody could be a little bit impatient right now with you, or maybe you're getting impatient with somebody else. Um, I do feel that there are feelings or, you know, these emotions, these deep rooted emotions that do want to come to the surface. Somebody wants to say somebody or is hoping you're going to speak up Pisces or, you're hoping that this person's going to speak up. Show me what the blue moon is all about. What is the blue moon? Courtship. It is about union. It's about coming together. Yeah, marriage. Bottom of the deck. Card number three. Yes, some of you Pisces were born in the third month of the year. Um... Or there's an ending to a marriage. And then it's like you're free. You could be free, Scorpio. Uh, well, you must be dealing with the Scorpio for some of you. I want... <laughs> well, you guys are dealing with a lot of different uh, zodiac signs. But for whatever reason, Scorpio wants to dominate and spew out of my mouth. Okay. Um, yeah. Things could be coming to an end. An end of a cycle, it could be, what is that what Paul McCartney sings? The long and winding road. Isn't it the long and winding road leads back to you or something like that? So it could very well be true, Pisces, that your true soulmate could be at a distance from you. And, or... This person could be in your own backyard, mm -hmm. maybe not literally, unless if they are really technically, you know, hiding in a bush. Okay. Um, you never know. They could be kind of creepy like that. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> courtship, let's take a look at this courtship card. I, I, I'm feeling some good, strong, solid energy off of this. Show me the courtship energy between Pisces and their specific person or the one that they're thinking about the most what's going on free your mind and the rest will follow free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so once somebody puts an end to something yeah release your ex baby release your ex let it go don't need that energy weighing you down somebody else desires you pisces they want to be with you they they want to make this attempt or effort, but they feel like they're trying to figure out a way. How do they get into your heart? How do they get into your mind? Um, somebody could be also manifesting for you. They could be lighting candle after candle after candle, you know, just praying and hoping that, you know, you'll wake up and, you know, reach out and communicate with them. But you could be doing this yourself. I mean, um, there is a strong connection going on here. And there's a lot of curiosity. I'm picking up a lot of curiosity in the connection. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, it's just, it almost feels like, I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing, like, if you were in front of this person, Pisces, it would just be like a, <laughs> it would be like a staring contest until, you know, Somebody starts laughing in somebody's face. You know what I mean? So there is a very dreamy uh, quality, a very dreamy, loving uh, romanticism, romantic feeling here um, that kind of is pulling at somebody's heartstrings that could motivate somebody to head in your direction or allow you to head in someone's direction. It's just a matter of, Somebody has got to make the final decision, make a judgment call, you know, because there could end up being too many missed opportunities in the future. And um, somebody is very sure that the two of you are going to be together or you're very confident, Pisces, that you're going to be with the one that you love. Okay. So... My awesome Pisces, if you like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up 
at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.